Don't you wish you could wear a hat in school? Hey, uh, the next section of, of uh, 7.1 is going to ask you to list the six major functions of membrane proteins and make sure that you're able to, to uh, talk about the role of carbohydrates in cell-to-cell -cell recognition uh, as, it, as, as it refers to carbohydrates that stick out of the cell membrane. Um, take a look for that as we go on here. This is a real important picture. This is a, truly the fluid mosaic model to me. And what I see here is I see a cell membrane. Oh, let's, let's do it in red. I see a cell membrane here, and I see uh, some embedded proteins. And I've, I've actually gone over one. Here's one. Here's another. Here's, a, here's another. Here's another. You can see in here this big super highway of um, uh, th there is called this protein called tubulin and actin that's in here, and this is how things will go down that endomembrane system and, and reach certain points on the cell membrane and then be released into the environment. Uh, we haven't really talked much about these; it's not required. Um, uh, but the 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 new stuff that I want to show you in this section of this chapter is. Uh, are these green things. Um, we see here a, a protein, we see here a carbohydrate, we see here a fat. There's really only, that's, that's three out of the four macromolecules uh, that exist in nature, carbos, proteins, fats, other than nucleic acids. And all three of these are used for recognition. Um, I like to use the example of, say, a, a white blood cell going through your body all the time and that white blood cell is tasting every single one of the cells that it goes by meaning it's trying to determine whether it's self or not self is it you or not you and what it's looking for is specific carbohydrates or sugars that sit on the surface of the cell or specific uh, proteins or fats and it's it's going to when it senses that oh this is Tim uh, I'm just going to leave this cell alone, and then it's going to go to the next cell. This is Tim. But then eventually when it gets to a cell that doesn't have that specific um, membrane carbohydrate, it will kill that cell because it, it knows that that cell is foreign. So um, these guys that sit on the surface of cells are super important for uh, recognition. Isn't that fancy? Um, well, the proteins that hold them and the proteins that allow stuff to go through uh, have a... a hydrophilic and a hydrophobic end. We talked about that earlier and I told you that it was made of um, of these uh, sequences of amino acids which be in turn are polypeptides. Understand that right here in the middle are going to be amino acids that are not polar. There's three different classes of amino acids. One of those classes is nonpolar. Out here in the aqueous or watery environment, whether this is inside or outside the cell, it doesn't matter. Those are going to be amino acids that are polar. They love water. And uh, the, the protein is going to orient itself uh, in that manner. Um, and uh, so they're really complex and they're very specific. If one of those amino acids is wrong, the whole thing folds differently and it doesn't look like this. And it doesn't allow something to go through. And this can occur from a mutation on DNA way upstream. Um, and uh, that's then how maybe a disease is caused. And we'll talk more about that later. Um, here it's just talking about the hydrophobic regions of this protein that, that's embedded in the membrane. Between the living machinery of the inner cell and the harsh conditions of the outside world, stands the cell's plasma membrane. As crucial as this barrier is, it's surprisingly flexible. Push it and watch it move. Um, Poke hard make enough sure and it that you understand and begin that group. process that I was just the talking about, the cell to cell back naturally assemble um, in a double layer. Make sure layer to concentrate on that section of this water as their uh, chapter. Attracted. Um, Throw in some cholesterol and a few carbohydrates and you have the basic structure um, of a plasma membrane. Within these lipid molecules, good luck you also and, uh, find different go proteins which do various things for go the cell. Them, for instance, they receive signals from the world outside, or they transport nutrients and waste. So nature composes the membrane with a combination or mosaic of different lipids, carbohydrates, and proteins. And these molecules are not stationary. They constantly move within the structure, fluidly changing their positions.
the survival of all life rests on this veil of material. A supple membrane just two molecules thick. Good luck and uh, go Huskies. Go get them, boys.